Hi guys, I am so pleased and excited to introduce to you a new member on the Maths Coach channel. Mr. Ali will be doing some A-level maths questions with you and I'm going to leave it to him now to introduce himself and also take you through your first lesson. Hi, uh, today we're going to be tackling um, the question on the board. Uh, it's, it's for A-level students uh, who may go up for two universities where they might be asked to answer a question like this without using a calculator. Now, so to begin, uh, we can say that let x become this expression here. And if you take the arctan to the other side and do the opposite of arctan, which is simply tan, and you're left with minus 1 over root 3 here. Now, so tan of x gives you a negative 1 over root 3. So we can ask yourself initially, tan of x giving you a positive 1 over root 3. As it's a non calculator question here, so it, might, it should be related to angles such as 30, 45, or 60 degree. 30 being pi by, uh, pi by 6, 45 being pi by 4, and 60 being pi by 3. So the triangle has a root 3. Uh, the 1, 2, and you get the root 3 here, and that's 30 degrees here, no, so that's 60 degrees here, and 30 degrees. Now, so tan of 30 is opposite divided by adjacent, so that gives you your 1 over root 3, or in radian, this would be pi by, pi by 6. So we know that tan of pi by 6 gives you a positive 1 over root 3. And obviously here, in our question, it needs to be a negative 1. So if we look in the cast diagram, C-A-S-T, tan is negative in the sine quadrant and it's negative in the cos quadrant. So there's two possible answers in this diagram. But for our tan to exist, tan has to be a 1 to 1 function. And we saw that in PM2 that tan, the tan is 1 to 1 for angles between minus pi by 2 and pi by 2. That's minus 90 degrees and 90 degrees. So that's going up to 90 degrees. And so that goes up to pi by 2 and that goes down to minus pi by 2. So we're allowed to be in these two quadrants, but not these two quadrants. Now from two solutions, we want it down to one solution. And this angle here is a pi by uh, pi by 6, and because we're going downwards here, x is therefore minus pi by 6, and that's our solution. Okay, so now that you've seen one of those questions done, uh, so I'll give you a, a couple of minutes to answer this question. Okay, so now that you've had a go at this question here, let me go through this. So we can start by saying let x be equal to the arc sine of minus root 3 over 2, in which case the sine of x would be minus root 3 over 2. So, and again, as it's a non-calculator question performing here, uh, so sine of what angle gives you a positive root 3 over 2, as a root 3 as a 2, as sine 60 is opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So from here, we see that sine 60 is root 3 over 2, and 60 degrees is the same as pi by 3. So going back to here again, our sine is a negative value. Now let's draw the cos diagram. Sine is negative in the tan quadrant and the cos quadrant. So these two angles are basically your pi by 3s. Now, for the arctan to exist, sine has to be 1 to 1. Sine is 1 to 1 when the angles are between minus pi by 2 and pi by 2. Similar to tan, tan doesn't have the equal sign, whereas sine, we, we have the equal signs. So that's pi by 2, and that's minus pi by 2, so going up and down, which means that we eliminate this quadrant. Again, you're going back down this way, so therefore x will be minus pi by 3. 